Lexington's new soccer club is one step closer to having a permanent home. In a 6-1 to one vote last night, the city's Board of Adjustment approved a plan for the Premier League soccer stadium to be built on Russell Cave Road, which will be adjacent to many horse farms, even replacing a few. Danielle Miskol is standing by with more on how the soccer league and farmers feel about this decision. Danielle. Yes, Amani, the Lexington Sporting Club told me it has every intention to build a legacy on that land as long-lasting as the horse industries. But as one sporting legacy begins, a piece of another sports legacy must end. You know, listening to the conversations that we had yesterday, and I understand the opposition. This is a beautiful city. With the approval to build a multi-field complex in horse country, the Lexington Sporting Club says this is an opportunity to do something the city has never done before. We've brought a professional football club to the city, and with that we've got a whole development model of how we see our U23 players, how we see our female academy players, our male academy players and our youth club players. And but building the stadium's green space will disrupt what one horse trainer says is a cog in the wheel of Lexington's horse training industry. I was so lucky to get my start there. I started horses there. Um, it was one of the only places in Kentucky that would give me basically a workspace or stabling. She trained this filly starting at Ashwood and got her to the races at Keeneland. Because I had a place like Ashwood that had, you know, some grassy areas. As a horse trainer coming from humble means, Kara says horse trainers starting out in a lower bracket will now be missing out on a great resource. It hurts. I'm sorry for the people behind me. It, they'll struggle a lot more than I had to. So. Stockley says he gets why the equine industry pushed back. In the horse world is a little bit like the football world where they understand the developments. He promises the sporting complex will create a legacy among families the way it does with horses. Those boys and girls at U7, U8 now can be part of a club and can grow inside it and they don't have to leave the area to go and try and get a higher standard of football. Or they and in between the soccer club and horse trainers polarizing sides is legendary horse trainer Kenny McPeak who's owned the neighboring That's land really for 20 the, uh, years. My farm's Scott PDR up. protected, so I'm all about farmland. It's a shame we can't get the industry stronger to the extent that that property could be utilized for, for horse farms, but I do think that this is a, a better option than commercial industrial. Sports Director Sam Stockley says there will be another hearing in late July where next steps will be discussed about the complex's lighting, concession stands, and more. I'm Danielle Miskell. Imani, back to you.